partial quotients, which is a strategy for division with one digit divisors. Now I'm going to say right away that this strategy is not the most efficient strategy for this kind of a problem. However, it's good to start with an easier problem like this to learn the actual strategy so that when you get to problems where this strategy makes a lot of sense to kids, they already know how to do it because they've done it with easier problems. So 216 divided by 6. To solve it with partial quotients, we're going to write our problem down like we're solving it the traditional way. 216 divided by 6. And then we're going to draw a line down the side. This is a lot like divvy out in that I don't have to know the exact perfect thing, perfect number that I'm multiplying 6 by to see how many times 6 goes into 216. I can do any number. And so I like to choose nice, even, round numbers that are easy to work with and easy to multiply in my head. So a lot of times I start with 10. 6 times 10 is 60. And then I subtract 60 from my 216. 6 minus 0. 11 minus 6 is 5. 156. So now usually I encourage students to start thinking about facts and um, multiples and things that they know they can work with that are going to get them close to this number. Some kids, they're going to be in a place where they're just going to keep doing 6 times 10 and subtracting. And that's fine. It's going to give them the right answer. We want to eventually move them towards choosing numbers that are going to be more efficient. So so a lot of kids might know to think about this as 15 and think about 6 times what will get them close to 15, and they might know that 6 times 20 is going to give them 120. You subtract 6 minus 0, 5 minus 2, so I'm left with 36, and kids should know their 6 times tables well enough to know that 6 times 6 is 36 and they have zero left over. They could have a remainder with this. In this case, they don't. The answer is right here. It's these partial quotients. So 10 and 20 and 6 all add up to 36. So 116 divided by 6 is 36.